Hello and welcome to this week's episode. I'm David Greisman here with Milton Matthews, the President and CEO of Columbia Association. This week we're talking with Sapphire Windley, who's Program Coordinator for the Youth and Teen Center at the Barn, which is located in the Oakland Mills Village Center in Columbia. You have a lot of programming during the school year for youth and teens from Columbia and really throughout Howard County. With summer here, what are some of the things that you are offering for students? Well, with the summer program, we have our program, it's called the Extreme Youth and Teens, which uh, consists of 10 trips that we take throughout the summer on Tuesdays and Thursdays primarily. Now, um, these trips can, uh, can range from Ocean City to New York City, which I believe we will be taking this year, so we're excited about that. Uh, white water rafting, uh, we're going to do some laser tag. We've got a really action-packed, fun-filled summer planned for our youth to be involved in. Is there still drop-in programming? Um, the only thing that basically changes, we are open all through the, throughout the year, through the school year and the summer. Um, so the summertime, our hours are from 2 to 7, and what we do is we have, we offer themed weeks. So every week we have activities geared towards those weeks. Talking about some of the programs and the activities you were outlining, where does the age groups that usually draw come to the teen center? Well, we are open to uh, ages 9 to 18. And so if I'm a 9 to 18 year old and I walk into the Youth and Teen Center at the barn, what is inside for them to do? Ooh, so many things. So first when you walk in, there is a um, there's a lounge area where you typically you will find youth uh, playing the Xbox. Um, and then right to your right, you would have your uh, computer lab. You'll find um, our young people either doing homework, playing Minecraft, or whatever they like to do. Um, and then you go to the back, we have a wonderful uh, game room. We have pool tables, we have uh, chess boards, we have all kinds of fun stuff back there. So we have a two-story facility, and in the upstairs what we have is a mini court where we can play basketball, tennis. You go a little bit further to the front of the facility, and we have a snack bar, another cafe lounge type of area. So there's plenty of space for our young people to spread out, have fun, you know, and do what they like to do. Sapphire, I know that from previous conversations with you, you've been involved with the Teen Center for, for a while and, and you have a passion for it. Uh -huh. What is the number one benefit or purpose you see for the Teen Center? Well, I can say is when you have a young person who is, um, who's been looking for a place to hang out, who's always been told they after school they need to go home, there's no supervision, there's, um, you know, they just, they're just not connected to the community. The Youth and Teen Center allows or provides opportunities for young people to not only be a part of a group, but also to be invested in their community, okay. which is, you know, a part of the mission of Columbia Association, the quality of life, you know, for our young people. And they're also getting the enrichment component. We have mentoring groups and other um, opportunities to do community service works. We're a partnership with the Howard County Public School Systems and, and the East Columbia Library and so on and so on. So uh, when those young people come and they come, they, they're they finishing the program and they come back and they, they're, they've graduated and they say, you know what, this program was a vital part of my success. Now the, the teens who come to the center, are they from the immediate area or is it much broader? Because we are in Oakland Mills area, um, predominantly most of our following is there in, in Oakland Mills. However, what, we, what we're learning is that people are getting, um, they're, they're being, becoming more informed about the Youth and Teen Center, so they are making their way over there. And the kids are, I mean, talking about it. Good. So I've got folks coming from Harbor's Choice. We just got a partnership from Running Brook. Okay. So we've got a group of kids even coming from Running Brook. So we're excited about that. Good to know. And for the daily programming, is there any cost or membership requirement? Yes, there is. There's a $25 registration fee for the entire year. And it goes beyond the daily programming. You, you give opportunities for teens, whether they're volunteering with um, senior citizens oh. or uh, other organizations. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about that? Um, so one of the committees that we do have is called the Teen Outreach Committee. Um, the Teen Outreach Committee focuses on community service projects. Right now we have a partnership with the Food on the 15th program. Mm -hmm. So our young people are actually collecting food. Food on the 15th is a program that collects food for senior citizens who are on low or moderate income. Um, we kind of help uh, bridge the gap when they are low on their, on their uh, groceries. Mm -hmm. So we collect, the, we collect the food, 
and then we actually set up a distribution site and we give it away to senior citizens. So it's been, I mean, just such a rewarding opportunity for our young people. And then they're earning community service hours with the school as well. Now, do we have any other intergenerational programs at the center? We do. We actually have a wonderful partnership with the East Columbia Library, okay. the 50 plus center. Um, we, our young people actually go and provide tutorial services uh, for the, our older adults with the iPad. For several years now, there's also been a clothing donation drive, and they've been helping out a lot of people in need in the community. We have been. Um, that also falls under the teen, uh, teen Outreach Committee. We saw that there was a need. Um, even in this affluent area that there was clearly a need and I believe last year we served about 800 to a thousand people here in the community and that really gave a, our young people a sense of pride and accomplishment. Safar, how do people get involved with the teen and middle school advisory committees? So the teen and middle school advisory meets every third Thursday of the month. All you have to do is to join is just show up at the barn with your parent and a registration form. And you can be a part of a committee where peers just kind of come up with ideas or activities that would be appealing to themselves and they implement it in the community. Well, Sapphire, it's fantastic that you all provide so much for youth and teens in the community, and then in turn, these youth and teens begin to give back. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Columbia, thank you.